Yeah, I think there are three things that people could, could be doing. One of those things, first and foremost, is to be very okay with being uncomfortable and understanding that your discomfort is what people have been feeling for lifetimes. Lifetimes, people who have lost their babies, uh, people who we've watched lose their babies, we've watched people's children lay in the street. Um, so that's the first and foremost thing. The second thing is there's really a redistribution of not only wealth, but knowledge that has to happen. Um, there's just no way to, to hoard all of that power. I think we're seeing the greatest visibility around what it means to hoard power for oneself with Orange Gate. Um, and then the third thing I think that's really, 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 really important and really key for anyone who wants to contribute to the movement. I get very irritated when people say the movement because I'm like, well, what movement are you a part of? What does your movement look like? Because there is, like I said, anti-blackness and white supremacy that permeates in movements that have great intentions. Um, so there's really this piece around making sure that those who are being impacted, literally, someone who could leave here right now in this moment and die and be murdered by the police or, or by you, to make sure that those are the very people who are informing the strategies and that those are the people who are receiving the resources and those are the people who are receiving the accolades. Do not honor me when I'm dead. And that, that is the one thing that I've always been very, very clear about um, in terms of what people can be doing, those three things. Mm -hmm.